Hello there folks, welcome to another Shots by Less or video. My name's Ben, and uh, just before we get into today's video, just give you a little rundown on where we are with the channel. Obviously right on the edge of 1,000 subscribers, around 985 or something last time I checked. Um, if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. I know there's actually quite a lot of people watch this channel from time to time, um, of which about 10% are actually subscribed to the channel. Um, it'd be really nice to get the, over that thousand mark and just make the channel a bit of a, you know, a proper milestone for the channel would be lovely. Massively appreciate everyone who subbed. After all, I originally started this, much like other people, with the intention of maybe you might get 100, 150 people regularly watch a video. So um, to have this kind of number is crazy. Um, the only other thing is, uh, present situation is obviously I have the VMP1, the new uh, Vorse gas blowback on pre-order. That was supposed to be here mid-April. Um, bit of a frustrating situation, not really been able to actually get uh, anywhere with finding out when that's going to be here. Um, been in contact with the place I've got it on pre-order with, they don't know. Essentially they didn't turn up, they've been trying to get in touch and contact with Vorsk over it. Vorsk have been not particularly communicative with when they're actually going to be around, so um, there might have been a hold up in shipping or even in the uh, product design. Obviously it's a bit annoying because it leaves me a couple of hundred quid out on something I could have ordered uh, to have on the channel. I am somewhat limited financially on the channel. I'm lucky to have a decent job, but the more money that I have to spend on the airsoft, <laughs> the less I've got. So enough moaning, that will be along soon, uh, as soon as they uh, do actually come in and get sent out. But enough waffle, I thought it would be interesting if we had another to Tokyo Maru gun on the channel. Today, it's going to be the absolutely timeless Mark 23. Non-blowback pistol. Uh, this is the full retail package, which means that there's going to be all sorts of stuff in this box. Uh, I picked this up for around £150, so they're not cheap uh, if you do find them in stock in the UK. For what is essentially a non-blowback plastic pistol. However, having said that, build quality being Tokyo Mirai, it should be brilliant and performance should be what you expect from Tokyo Mirai. IA works out the box, which is more than we can say for a lot of guns we've had on this channel. So just to have a quick look over this box, absolutely beautiful. Um, printing, plenty of marks. On the back, we have a full light features breakdown. Obviously, primarily in Japanese, all the information which is nice, keep the box, put it on your wall next to your, I don't know, anime. <laughs> Sorry, I'm quite ill. So um, apologies if I cough my way through this. Uh, this is a fully trademarked version. Some places you'd have to be a bit careful with now because they will actually remove the trademarks from these. Um, whether there's a licensing thing where uh, they're now out of license agreement or something along those lines. But some places I was looking actually removed the trades from these. So just be aware of that. Uh, so let's get the sleeve off and we have a lovely hard case uh, by the way sorry I am 3d printing something so that's probably the humming you can hear in the background hopefully it's not too annoying uh, and this hard case is really rather nice obviously just hard plastic and inside the box we get our as you would expect beautiful packaging We've got dense foam on the bottom soft foam on the top uh, we've got a pull tab here which I'm guessing is going to be documentation uh, this is actually a gunfire manual, which would indicate that this has been imported by a UK airsoft retailer through gunfire. This is not from Patrol Base, by the way. So Patrol Base aren't the only people importing using a Polish or uh, Eastern European importer. Uh, and then we have our instruction manual. As with all Tokyo Maru guns, it is going to be primarily in Japanese. Uh, little, little sets of paper targets. Uh, a Japanese safety certificate or sort of a leaflet uh, again more general information on how to use your silencer lamb unit because this does obviously have the laser uh, and torch unit in it and then we have an actual paper manual uh, which kind of repeats the same things although this does have a bit more about the operation of your hop uh, if you can read Japanese it's helpful because there's not really much of a lick of English in it but it's always nice to keep. Tokyo Marui guns, when you open them up, they always have the most beautiful like packaging, manuals, all that sort of stuff. It's always really nice to see. Uh, bear in mind, on the channel, there is actually a review of the ASG Mark 23, which is a clone of this gun. 
there are some differences. Obviously, this has the lamb unit with it, which, to be absolutely honest, most people will never use because it's not. It's more for show than it is actually a useful item. Uh, the silencer is also different. The silencer on the uh, Mark 23 by ASG is actually a power barrel. So essentially in here, rather than there being, if I pop this off, rather than there being bits of foam to quieten or dampen the uh, report of the muzzle, there's actually a barrel inside there. So when you screw your silencer on the front, it will actually give your BBs a lot more velocity because it gives it more barrel to work with. The difference is about uh, 80 FPS when I've tested it. Um, if you do want to go watch that video, just bear in mind that is a £54 pistol, or I paid £54 for it. There may be slightly more, may even be slightly less at the moment. Uh, but this is that is three times. Sorry, this is three times the price of that. Um, so really, it'd be interesting to see if it kind of lives up to that. Packaging obviously is already way past what the uh, Mark 20, the ASG Mark 23 had, um, and we'll see what quality is like. For a start, the silencer is very authentic looking, uh, full metal, and the fact it's actually got foam in it is really cool. But that means that this will kind of, or it's only gonna hit the lower end of what that ASG can do. Not waffling. Uh, we also have some BBs. Uh, well, I won't get them out, but these are actually Tokyo Maru BBs. These are actually probably good enough to use in the gun. But the Chinese stuff that they come with BBs, you really don't want to use them, you want to just throw them in a bit. Before you start so you don't accidentally use them because they can shatter in the gun and cause all sorts of problems because they're very low quality. On to the magazine. Um, green gas mag. Uh, this will actually be happiest running on like H134 which we don't get over here which is like the main gas of Japan because they're quite low power over there. Uh, it will take green gas. Um, there's no gas in it present I don't think. Feels nicely built as you would expect. It is in fact um, got trades which is nice obviously this is a licensed um, gun Tokyo Maru down, Tokyo Maru down that side um, yeah it's a Mark 23 gas mag this feels a lot nicer than the uh, ASG magazine did have a few issues with that magazine not feeding through the follower um, I actually fixed it by taking it down I had to sand the follower itself and the inside of the mag and they were actually getting caught uh, BBs were getting caught on the rough edges in the mag so it is easy to fix, but again, this is three times the price. So I'm expecting this to work perfectly out of the box. So that's the magazine. And then we have our Mark 23. Uh, it comes with a valve cap in the end. Uh, that's a standard Tokyo uh, Maru practice, uh, just to keep anything from getting in the barrel during shipment. We have a thread on the end for our silencer, which we'll explore in a moment. I've got grease all over my hands, covering it in crap already. Uh, we are fully traded. I don't know if the camera's gonna actually uh, zoom on that. Literally everything that you would expect to be on the real gun, apart from the Tokyo Mary uh, Co Limited made in Japan, um, is actually on the gun still, so that's nice. Like I said, there are some, some airsoft retailers are taking that off when it comes into the country, so I don't know if something's changed in the, uh, the way that the licensing is now done but we shall see. Uh, standard hop-up flap on there. Um, I believe the lamb unit comes off by simply releasing that, which is nice. And that gives us a better look at uh, the clean, sort of muscular shape of the Mark 23. Uh, the slide does move, although it's a non-blowback, uh, which allows you to actually cock the hammer Although that is actually also done just by pulling it down at the back if you want a shorter trigger pull because the Mark 23, if you don't know, is a dual stage trigger. So there is cocked and that's when it fires. So it loads a BB and then fires all in one stroke. So you do not need to rack and it does not need to cycle the slide to actually fire. Uh, on the side, there is a safety. So we can fire, flip it up and then we cannot, which is actually what would be the slide release on the real gun. And then this is your half cock safety at the back. So if we bring the pistol to, I'll just use that half cock like that, you can have that and that on. So that will stop, even without the trigger lock, that will stop you from pulling the trigger. This means that you can holster the gun with your uh, sort of shot half cock. So when you get it out, all you gotta do is flick that down and fire and you don't have that 
really long trigger pull when you initially pull it out of a holster. Which is pretty handy. Um, to get the slide off, it has to come back um, and then you pop this uh, release out, or this lock, what is a lock on this would be a release normally. Once that's done, um, I'll just see if I can do it on camera. I always found these a bit fiddly to do. There we go. There you can see, I've got the slide back just about that much. Uh, you can actually pop your release out, let it come back forwards, and then I believe if it's anything like the ASG, it should pop forward and lift off. So there we have our frame. Uh, you can see that all working there. Instantly, the, the trigger on this is still crap because the Mark 23 trigger is crap because it's dual stage. However, this is a million times nicer than the ASG, which again, three times the price, you would kind of expect it. Uh, the actual slide itself, as you say, this is a non-blowback pistol. So not usually what we're gonna see uh, compared to like all the other um, pistols that have been on the channel. Big metal outer barrel in there with a, I think it's a 60 mil thread on this because the science is a 60 mil rather than a 14. So this is not a standard thread, but you can get adapters to run standard silencers and uh, traces if you wish. And then under here is where our hop is located on a little dial. These pistols are legendary for this whole top slide uh, apart in here being replaced with a TDC hop, which essentially allows you to put any amount of pressure that you want on your BB by screwing a grub screw directly down on top of like an Ikea or something like that onto the hop up which means that these things can hop massively heavy BBs, particularly when they're running high pressure gas or when they're modified to produce more power. Um, not unknown for these to be almost like a sniper pistol. Um, so yeah, that was your slide internals. To pop it back on, again, positioned roughly where we were before and you have to kind of jiggle it back on. I haven't messed with one of these in a little while, so forgive me if I'm having a bit of a faff. There we are. And then, again, bring it back to where we were before. There is a notch in the slide just there. Hopefully the camera will focus. Back in, and it will sit inside that notch just to make sure it's not caught up. And then that will, should allow you to maneuver the slide and fire the pistol. Let's see what our mag insertion and release is like. Very nice indeed, as you would expect. It is, after all, a TM gun. Uh, pop some gas in that, see what happens. I'm just gonna blob a bit of ASG green gas in there. This is ultra air. Characteristic Tokyo Maru valve there. That is the gas going in. Air coming out that's already in the mag. Obviously, they're not on vacuum in there. Let's just pop that back in there. That should have taken a bit on. I'm just gonna fire it away from me a sec. And there we are. So you can see it has quite a hefty retort. It's still nice and quiet for a gas pistol. And then we're gonna slide Mr. Suppressor on. Yeah, I think it's a 16 millimeter clockwise thread. And then we're gonna fire it again and see if it makes more noise or less noise. That really is quite different. You know, I've never had a proper TM version of one of these before. And that, it's such a dull sound compared to the crack that the ASG has, especially with the power barrel on. And it's amazing how well that silencer works. Just again. Fantastic. Well, that's been a little, oh, actually, let's have a look at the lamb. So this is the lamb unit. Uh, this is infamously crap. Uh, it looks great on the gun. Does in fact have a torch. There's room for three uh, AAA. Yeah, I think they're, I think they're AAA batteries in there. Um, and you pop them in there. You pop them in there and then you have that on your gun. And you've got a switch on the back which can be operated with your thumb. So you've got like a, I believe that's laser on. And then you've got a flick. Uh, it's either a flick for the laser or a flick for the flashlight. Not entirely sure. Uh, but these are unfortunately generally known for not being very good. They are like a freebie you get with the gun. The on off switch is underneath. Um, so battery's in there, that's your on off switch. And like I say, it does attach like so. And then there's literally this 
little screw that screws into the hand grip of the TM. And there we have it. That is the fully dressed, I'll tell you what, let's get rid of that. Annoying me all unboxing. So out of this hefty pistol, this is a big pistol when it's together. Helped by the fact that it's non-blowback, so you're not having a recall trying to move the gun around when you're firing. Um, this is looking very nice indeed. And just to reiterate, extremely quiet. Just another demonstration of firing from the dual stage mode, where cocked and then uncocked. You can see how much longer and nastier that trigger pull is, but as I say, it's only a matter of just cracking the hammer back and then you have a short trigger. So yeah, that's looking really good. Cannot wait to get that out on the range. It's a Tokyo Maruri, so I'm really hoping it functions perfectly and works really well out of the box. The hop in these is not fantastic, but it's supposed to be okay. Um, people often want to run massive heavyweight BBs in these, so they're, you'll often hear them say, oh, the stock hop's rubbish. It's not really rubbish. It just doesn't have the hop to lift like a 32, 36 gram BB. Um, so I reserve judgment on that until I see it for myself. And then I think we're going to turn this into a little series and we'll have ourselves a fully decked out Mark 23 with a load of Hadron parts and yeah, a decent barrel, maybe some 3D printed stuff on it and uh, we'll see where it goes. So stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see more of that. Thank you for watching. I've been Ben, it's been a Shots Fired Airsoft video. Goodbye. <laughs>